All right, welcome back to Living It Away. You know, he was a kid from Pearl City who had a dream. He wouldn't let anything from stopping him to get to the Olympics. That's right. And today is a local hero segment. We meet Olympic athlete and NBC sportscaster Kevin Wong. Now, he is using his passion for volleyball to inspire kids and help them reach greatness. My first memories as a kid watching sports, I can remember the 1984 Olympics. And for me, my childhood dreams were less about volleyball and more about playing in the Olympics. And, and I was a basketball player at the time, so my dream was being a Harlem Globetrotter and playing in the Olympics representing the USA. So I kind of came close. I walked through on book day at school in ninth grade and they happened to have volleyball tryouts. Apparently, they needed a tall middle blocker, and I fit the spot, and I made the team. Throughout high school, 13 to 13 guys on the team, uh, barely sniffing the court, but I think what I did best is I paid attention. I kept my head down, and I worked really hard. I was a professional athlete for 15 years, and the highlights, are, it's just so many crazy stories over the years. I got to play beach volleyball in Abu Dhabi in front of the oil sheiks. I, I got to play up on the top of the mountains in the Al Swiss Alps. Uh, I played on a, a barge uh, in the middle of the, the Norwegian Sea, and just taking me to so many different countries, uh, getting to make lifelong friends, and expand my world to Pearl City to Palisades to Oahu to the rest of the world. I was nearing the end of my volleyball career professionally. Uh, my wife and I had tried to start a family as well and uh, for five years we had gone through all the tests, all the procedures, all the treatments and the money and the time and the hope and the anticipation and, and you, you just get crushed. Time to get off the ground. You need to get some time to take a swing. So for me, it was much less a plan thing and much more a uh, urge where I really felt like I needed to be around kids. And I really felt like I had this need. I had this need and this yearning and so I, I reached out to uh, a principal uh, right here at Alawai Elementary School near the beach here where I trained and I said hey would you be interested in me giving free lessons to your fifth and sixth graders and that's where it started. Spike and Serve is a nonprofit here in Hawaii, volleyball, kids, and it started off pretty small, and now we have over 30 coaches. We've got events every single day of the year, except for Christmas and Thanksgiving. We've got teams. We run the Hawaii Beach Volleyball Prep Championships. We do corporate events. It's kind of turned into something that uh, I never had any plans for it to turn into. For me, I see how important coaches are in a kid's life. You know, in stable families, I think that coach becomes the, the second biggest influence after their parents. But in a lot of families where maybe a little dysfunctional, maybe they don't have a father there in the household, the, the coaches are the parents. They're the most dependable adult resource in a kid's life, and, and because of it, there's a responsibility there, right? And I feel like those are the kids we gotta take care of. Those are the kids that we believe in. And we can really help them become something. I do what I do because I love volleyball. Because volleyball's been really good to me in my life. Because I've had great coaches in my life. And now I get to give back. I get to pay it forward. I get to uh, be and play my part in the whole circle 
it, it's pretty humbling to, to know that things that you're doing right now are going to have repercussions and they're going to have uh, reactions 20, 30, 40 years uh, ahead. And in some ways, gives you a little bit of immortality. That's awesome. Great guy. Great, I've great I've known him guy. for a number of years, and I'm so happy that he's uh, able to pay it forward the way he is because um, we love those kinds of stories, right? I know. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so true. I mean, I know firsthand my son is part of Spike and Serve, so I've seen, you know, how he works, how the coaching mm -hmm. staff, I mean, all the time and love that they give to these kids. And um, so that's why when I was looking for a local hero, I'm like, you know, he really does such a great job. And you know, the, you see the passion, mm -hmm. you know, you see the love he has for these, for these kids. I also like uh, what he said about coaches are like, uh, like parents because they are with the kids so, so there's so much time that they spend with the kids. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of coaches uh, realize how a few words can both inspire or break down a child uh, playing a sport. And he is so inspiring. So thank you, Kev. Yes, yes. I'm like, can you coach every sport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because you just want people like that around your kids. Well, we know that he could do basketball and volleyball and <laughs> yeah. beach volleyball. Yeah. I'm like, hey, when are you starting up your, uh, <laughs> your basketball clinic? Could he be a good pole vaulter? Who knows? <laughs> yes. But well, thank you, everybody, for, for allowing us to tell yeah. that story.